and welcome everybody on YouTube and here in stream. We got a new donation deck to play here today. This is going to be Abzan Explore. So we're we're kind of taking like the Naya value kind of uh, shell with Militia Bugler and the Explore package, and we're moving that over and adding some black in uh, instead of red, where we have Seeker Squire, so we got even more Explore going on, and then we also have Contempt for Removal and Frasca Relic Seeker, which just which is just an incredible planeswalker, and then find finality that can get our creatures back. So we got a lot of uh, extra value here. So it's kind of like we're going Abzan value, basically. Um, so let's see how this does. We are playing Contempt instead of Chupacabra for the added flexibility and instant speed here. Um, that's going to be kind of a, a card to kind of watch. We'll, we'll kind of see, like, as we play through these games, if we'd rather have Chupacabra. But um, with the donation deck we got, uh, we're playing at Contempt and wanted to keep it that way. So let's try it out. And in the sideboard, I'm pretty excited to play Profane Procession in this kind of deck, where we can make sure to hit our land drops with all the Explore things and get extra mana, and it's a really good mana sink. So I'm pretty excited about this uh, for uh, against Grixis decks and Drakes and basically those blue, black, red kind of decks where we can exile a bunch of creatures and they don't have very good in answers to enchantments. Got a whole lot of cast downs in our sideboard to kill. Takatli Honor Guard. Definitely got to get rid of that thing. Um, Knight of Autumn for enchantments that our opponents are playing. And, you know, gain in life. You know, y'all know what Swiss Autumn Knife over here does. Uh, one settle in case we're facing some opponents a little more aggressive than us who wants to attack us a bunch. Dawn Bringer for aggro, Vivian for Drakes, or for control, and Carnage Tyrant Duress, normal anti control stuff. Abzan Explore. Let's go. Traditional constructed. 1,000 gold. Question. Hey, Todd, what are the most... What card are you most looking forward to in Allegiance? I don't know. I don't know what singular card I'm most looking forward to. Maybe... It may be Theater of Horrors, maybe. Maybe Theater of Horrors. You get to exile the top card of your library every turn, and then you can uh, play the cards if your opponent lost life. This card's sweet. It is very good. It's, I've always liked those kind of effects. Rhythm of wi of the Wild. Easy, huh? Rhythm of the Wild. Which one's that? Which one's Rhythm of the Wild? Is that the one? Oh, like where your creatures gain riot? All right, Swamp Forsaken Sanctuary means we may be attacking. Let's Branchwalker's better at attacking than Squire, so let's play Branchwalker. Yeah, and can't be countered. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one for sure. I don't I don't like my creatures getting countered. So that's a good one. All right, I'm gonna start uploading the YouTube video for Grixis Thief. Inspiring Cleric. How are we going to beat that thing? Probably need to attack. All right, Jade Light, go do your thing. We're, we certainly just want to have a good battlefield presence uh, to be able to protect Vivian and have Vivian take over the game. Like That's kind of like what we're setting up here. Um, it, we look incredibly favored to win this game from here. Hmm. 
Hmm. So our opponent didn't want to trade 3-2 for 3-2, but they were willing to trade... Three two for two one. Interesting. Okay, sorry, I was getting that set up. Um Do you think there's a good all-around font of agonies deck that plays a Danto Vanguard and Bloodfast main deck? Would you like deck? to see what's left of Skull? Meet my newest friend. Yeah, it looks like we're playing against the Black White Starter deck. Yeah. Do we have any ways? To, uh, let me think about that one. Do we have any ways to move, remove tokens in the new set? There are there are a few ways. Um, not a, a ton, but there are a few ways to, like, there's a few, like, creatures that allow you to, to kind of change tokens around and things like that. Um, Font of Agonies. Whenever you pay life, put that many on it, sort of creatures. Maybe I doubtful. Doubt doubtful. I could kind of see Font of Agonies doing stuff in older formats, where you have fetch lands. You know, you just you just play a fetch land that's paying a life, um, and you have like Thoughtseize. Uh, you know, so you have like Fetch Shock. You have like Thoughtseize Dismember, all that kind of stuff. I could see maybe Font of Agonies doing something in modern. I, I don't know about standard. All right, so yeah, our opponent's just kind of playing a uh, a black-white precon deck, so it's going to be. I think this is going to be just a fine matchup for us. We don't really need a sideboard. Yeah, there is Bloodfast, but um, I still don't. I don't think that's really going to be a thing. Still. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you just lose life with Thoughtseize. You don't pay it. That's a good point. So that's a and a difference that that you can distinguish. Hey Zerf, doing good. Yeah, we've had had a real good Thursday so far to start with here. Go and play our Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, it could be new removal for Death Shadow. Yeah, I don't know. But that but that's where I could be looking at, at that card. I, I'm not thrilled about that card in standard. Shock lands are pay. You see when you ETBs you may pay two life. Oh, I don't have two white. We'll be fine. Oh, we'll be fine. Blood Operative and Doom Whisper. That's true. Especially Doom Whisper. Yeah, yeah. I guess there are more things. Doom Whisper is definitely a good one. one I forgot about. Underrealm Lich is, yeah, exactly, you can pay exactly four life. Uh, same with 
But again, same with the Dante Vanguard. You can pay the exact amount of life you need to. Yeah, maybe there's something there. Maybe there is. Hmm. Alright, so we need, a, need another white source. Could use another green source also. So Temple Garden checks both of those boxes perfectly for us. And I don't, of course, I don't mind our creatures dying with fine finality. Um, yeah. Just kind of going through the motions with this game. I think our cards are just so good <laughs> that I, I think we got this one pretty well locked up. Yeah, that was. Our cards are just very strong. Yeah, Vona is pay life, and that's seven life for Vona. Gonna have to have some like life gain, paying so much life with all these cards. Gonna have to have some life gain to go with all those things. The MMR, that's the matchmaking matchmaking system that that doesn't happen with uh, best of three these events that's not a thing they just match you up uh, with record so our opponent was probably 0 and 0 also you know like we were we were both 0 and 0 so we got paired up huh it's kind of weird to mulligan this hand but I, I feel like this is a mulligan with 5-5-6 five, five, in our hand and a wild growth walker that doesn't do anything. If we would draw like a jade light ranger, those hands like perfect. Um, but and we have good mana, so it's it's kind of weird mulliganing a hand with good mana. But I think this is pretty risky. I don't know. Is it that risky? We're either gonna draw lands or explore creatures. We got nine explore creatures. I'll keep it. I really like having five, five, six in the opener, though. That's talking about mana cost wise. So I'm not going to be blocking with Wild Growth Walker. So I might as well get a point of damage in. Come on, Jade Light Ranger. Yep, Cody, Cody Yost is asking for it. Let's go. Come on, Jade Light Ranger. Ugh, not quite. Well, Johnny's just going to put some counters on this Wild Growth Walker. You should be proud to and we'll sit back. So far. I think I'm willing to block Your with Wild Growth Walker this time. Struggle. I don't want a Johnny to die because I want to be able to play Tristani next turn. 
And then the two creatures with lifelink, the tokens, I want to be able to put counter counters on both the lifelink tokens. So I think I, I trade Shock. I trade Wagroth Walker for Shock and Pyromancer. And then they don't shock one of my tokens. If we would draw like J Light Ranger, we could also minus a Johnny, put put Wildworth Walker back into play, and then gain a lot of life. Oh no! Don't kill my Johnny. Oh, frenzy. Okay, Johnny didn't die. I don't think it's. I don't think the play is Vivian kill Experimental Frenzy and have Vivian and Johnny just uh, be vulnerable here. But yeah, both Vivian and Vraska can kill Frenzy. Um, but I, I want to get these things in play first. Dex, Dex feeling definitely feeling very good so far. Got our first match. Quite easily, and I like where we're at in this game. Um, so they have the burn spell for one, they get to kill both. It's a risky block. Certainly want to get that thing out of there. And I'm playing Vivian over Vraska because we don't have to shock in for Vivian. I didn't have to. This is nothing. You are capable of more than you assume. I really want to. Yeah, I could have blocked with Tristani. I, I don't know if I want to block with Tristani though. All right, let's get Dawnbringer in here. Do I want Duress? No, Settle. Knight. Oh, I was saying it, it's definitely feeling good, J Jack. Um. Yeah, had a real easy win to st the first game and. I think we have a pretty good red matchup. A Johnny's gonna be we're gonna be trimming a Johnny's. Path of Discovery. Whoops, Knight, get back in here. Path of Discovery, of course, is broken with Wild Growth Walker, but. Could just get rid of Lanowar Elf. Lanowar Elf's just, you know, dying to Chain Whirler and stuff. Just get rid of Lanowar Elf. Oh, let's play some cast downs. Yeah, cast downs great. Let's play some cast downs. Okay. I love all the good angels now. It really makes it for a viable junk an angels deck with history banalia, midnight reaper, tithe taker, holding down the four early with a pair of Vivians. Oh yeah, yeah. There's lots of good angels. Um, yeah, the flash angel is, is great. Certainly really like the Flash Angel, but yeah, we'll be playing Angel decks. You can count on count on me to play Angels, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was perfectly that was a good time for our opponent to concede the game. They had that game was over. They did not have a chance of winning anymore. With us having the multiple planeswalkers in play, being at 19 life. Big life leaking creature. They didn't have answer to any of that stuff. Oh wow, you're still missing a ton of the shock and check lands. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing about standard. Um 
I have lots and lots of Hmm. I guess we go try to find go try to find Wild Growth Walker. Uh, lots and lots of lands, rare lands that you need to make. Ugh. I mean, I want to take Wild Growth Walker, but there's also just Tristani sitting here. I guess I take Wild Growth Walker though. So I certainly want to wait until I have. Certainly want to wait until I have five mana to be able to play Wild Growth and Jade Light. The thing is, we need another green source. We not only need a land, but it has to be a green source in order to be able to play Wild Growth and Jade Light in the same turn. Finally opened my fourth Overgrown Tomb this morning. Heck yeah, way to go, Sunshine. Oh, well, yeah, you can you can still count on me to play green white decks and value town strategies. Those usually go go along hand hand in hand with angels. No, green sources, where are you going? Uh, the next two draws were both green sources. No. Hey hey Dawnbringer. I wouldn't mind shuffling my deck. We have a lot of pretty good cards at the bottom of our library. But to be fair, we have a lot of good cards in our deck. We're down to eight. I need to play this Night of Autumn. Maybe I should just play Night of Autumn this turn. Down to six. If they have double Wizards Lightning, we're dead. Which would be pretty impressive for them to have double Wizards Lightning. It's certainly possible. Um, Wild Growth Branch Walker, I suppose. Even if they lightning strike branch walker or wild growth walker, that's them not lightning striking us. And that's important where we're at here. Hey Dirk, doing well. We haven't, like, you know, like, we're not out of this, even though, like, we're not stabilized, necessarily, even though our hand's really good. That's a that's a great card for us to see. Love seeing Lava Coil from the opponent. Lava Coil's not direct damage. Oh, I meant to play Tristani first. Missed out on two points there. Could certainly be two important points. Alright, they gotta have four points of burn here. No bane fire. Woo! Fight with fire. Alright. Yep. And we got there. Tristani, quite strong. Okay. 2 0. Oh. We certainly have lots of good things against aggro. Against like mono red like that. We got lots of good things, both in the main or in the sideboard. I think those are matchups we would like to play over and over and over again. Alright, it's going good so far. 2 and 0. Oh. Impressively won every game. You can fight fire with fire with Banefire. 
Yeah. Yeah, Proud Kill is saying, sorry, I missed that, but yeah, you were saying I, I could have played Jade Light before playing the Knight of Autumn. We would, of course, had to find a green spell uh, with that. I thought it was just safest just to play the... Oh, no, no, I definitely want to keep that. The hand was great. <laughs> I was just talking and I just I clicked, you know, I just clicked the wrong thing while I was talking. Ugh. <laughs> it's okay, yeah, this hand's good as well. We got a couple good hands, so. Um, yeah, we're fine. What decks do you have your eyes on for week one of standard as of right now? Honestly, kind of everything. Uh... Basically everything is looking good right now. Uh, it's, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to kind of, kind of see. Bugler, what are you doing? So I wanted to bugler and look for like Wild Growth Walker there. So bugler missing is rough. Yeah, now both fine finalities are at the bottom of the deck, which is a great card in this matchup. So that's really bad for us. Alright, glad they have Thrashing Brontodon. That card's not too good against us, so... That's a good one for us to see. Um, Squire. Bow, bow. They go graveyard with Jade Light Ranger. I'll try to look towards a, a planeswalker. Or something like that. I may do a donation deck after the new set just to tie to join me in my session with Aristocrats. Heck yeah. Uh and then yeah, I'm I'm definitely down to play some aristocrats. Oh. i yeah, I like me some aristocrats. Um my latest attempt at a deck is Naya Primal Amulet deck with a bit of your Naya Legends. I really want to cast Jai's Immolating Inferno and have it get copied a bunch. There we go. That does sound pretty good. Alright, I guess I'm just going to Contempt this Bronzedon. I hope they don't have Vivian here. I feel like if they had Vivian, they would have just played Vivian though, right? Is that even a good finality for them? I don't even know. No Vivian, no Vivian. So they got four cards, we got two. So they're ahead there. I have not tried a, a True Fire Champion Star of Extinction combo deck. Well, they found Vivian. It's going to be a tough one to beat. We could use Drawn Another Contempt. Let's tear the balance comes. Yeah, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, you know, like, you're going to have to sacrifice some, a couple creatures, but yeah, you get a whole lot of value for sacrificing a couple creatures with that. Ugh. I'm going to just put Frasco down to the bottom. we got to find our own Planeswalker. Let's make everything right. Gotta find our own Vivian. Come to me. Take a look at the new lands. 
The new lands are, are just like, they're the new shock lands. Um, you can find all the, the spoilers at mythicspoiler.com. It's the easiest place to find those. There, Vivian is burying us. You can't stop nature. This is why Chupacabra is really good. Being able to find it. Vivian, wow. Well, my only play is to play this and, and then to attack all out at Vivian. Looks like we're going to, to Cyborden, though. I guess they do have to block every single creature if they don't want Vivian to take damage. If they want the Vivian ult, they, they do have to block all six creatures. So, like, all six of their creatures have, have to block. Should kill, like, all their creatures. But just a Carnage Tyrant with Vivian Emblem we're not going to compete with. I wish I would have kept my seven. I'm not losing everything. You should see the look on your face right now. Oh, I also want to try copying Star of Extinction copied a couple times. Yeah, you could do that with like the Mirari Conjecture, with like the third chapter of Mirari Conjecture. I've certainly seen that happen. Um, that's certainly pretty sweet. Alright, let's get our extra Vivian in here. Trim Tristani for that. Tristani is just not good against Fine Finality and, and Chupacabra. Um, I guess we need our own Carnage Tyrants. Take out Path of Discovery and Tristani. Oh, I like Path of Discovery in the deck. Um, I'm taking it out with its weakness to Vivian. It's a it's a ridiculous card with Wagroth Walker. <laughs> Who brewed this spice ball? You did, J Jack Jr. <laughs> this is your deck. I don't hate Duress. Um, I'm not gonna play it though. Let's get the settle in here. Take out two buglers, put a Tristani back in. Actually, I think I'm gonna take out Bugler. As it's pretty weak to or like we're taking we're just taking out Bugler hits. So I don't want to whiff. Let's have a settle wreckage in here. Are elves good in the mid-range mirrors? Yes. Yes, the speed is very important because the elves don't really die in the mid-range mirrors. And so having that extra mana is amazing because they don't they don't die. So they get to stay on the battlefield and give you extra mana um, over and over and over again. Here, we're really looking for white mana, which is the reason why I'm putting that down to the bottom because we need more white mana. Have you ever played Mythic Jeskai? Yeah, I mean, yeah, with like... Uh, 
Yeah, I've played different Jeskai decks. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, mulliganing. I keep losing games because my hands are not ideal. Um, I'm trying to figure out what point do I keep mulliganing my hand or just keep and hope to draw something better. With that kind of deck, with the Jeskai decks, and just kind of in standard, standard in general also, certainly need lots of lands. So if you have a hand that that has, you know, like four or five lands, I would be probably keep keeping that, especially four landers. Always be keeping those, but even five lands, like, you're fine. The hands you kind of want to mulligan are, like, your, your one and two mana hands. You gotta be scared of those. Come on, deck. Our deck's not helping us out this game. Yesterday I played against blue-red mid-range style deck, and the opponent made me made the best play. Play of the day. They paid seven to Entrancing Melody My Tristani. <laughs> yeah, that, that resolves. <laughs> Yep, that resolves. Now, I mean, all we need is a white or a black. We don't need black black for Contempt. We just need a white for a Johnny or a black for Squire. Either one of those and I'm very happy. We're just not getting either one. Yeah, we're playing we're playing four forests, so we got three of the four. Double Midnight Reaper. Daylight Ranger is too big. Why aren't you Murfolk Branchwalker, Seeker Squire? You need Branchwalker. Okay. So now we can start squiring. Oh yeah, J Light staying on top. That's certainly staying right there. All right, one wild growth walker down. I'm just taking the four again. to land there. I want to be able to play a Johnny as well. If I would have hit like one of the lands I could play a Johnny. I'm just I'm just putting both of those those things. I know they're alright well I'll keep that one. Now um alright Johnny can minus and, and get back one of these things. Like maybe we get back Wild Growth Walker and, and start going with that also. Alright they're contempt in the Wild Growth Walkers. So blocking Jade Light allows them to draw two cards. Is that something we do? I would double block with Squire. Like that's that's the block is double block with Squires. Um I don't want to let them draw two cards though. Stand to get returned to the fight. I'm feeling like it's unlikely our opponent uh, 
has a third contempt. You know, they've already used two contempts. They have like maybe maybe three in their deck, so they probably have like one more contempt in their deck. So really, what we're we're gonna try to do here is protect the Planeswalker. Hmm. Could also just chump block with Branch Walker. No, we'll, just, we'll get this. We'll get on the cards now. If I have four contempts, I would play a Mingle Guard. I'd slam all four of them in the current meta. I'm having a lot of trouble getting many rare lands for my decks. What is the best way to build a collection for standard and free to play? Um, yeah, it takes a long time. It does, but it's just going and getting. And the best thing to be doing is to. Uh, let's. I guess they could have. Yeah, we're still doing these two. We want to get our creatures above finality. Um, but anyway, the best thing to be doing is just to to get your free gold every single day and um, use that gold towards drafting. The thing is, the problem is they just keep on putting like these kind of weird formats on for drafting, which is kind of a problem. All right. Midnight Reapers get to refill their hand. Seems like... J-Jack, it kind of seems like we, we keep on playing these Golgari decks. And our opponents keep killing us with Midnight Reapers. It's annoying. I really... I wish you could get Midnight Reaper with Militia Bugler. That'd be fun. But yeah, that's that's really all you can do. Um, huh. I'll just take up and get a, this counter on the to Tristani to make sure it doesn't die to find finality if they if they just have another finality in their hand. I don't want to minus and put a two drop into play and then they finality away again. Yeah, they have eight cards in hand. We're going to have to beat now because of the Midnight Reaper. They did have another finality, but they're just going to get Wild Growth Walker, Daylight Ranger back. Um, I will do the same. Let's get Wild Growth Walker. Fight again. Jade Light. More Planeswalkers. Bugler. Bugler is interesting. Bugler is interesting. We can play Bugler plus whatever thing we find with it next turn. All right. So how many find finalities have they used now? How many of these? Have, how many have they seen? Three. So they've seen three find finalities, two contempt. Oh no! They get to Vivian first. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alright, we still have all three of our contempts, right? No, we use one contempt. We use one contempt. So we got two more contempts. Which we're certainly gonna need to find for Vivian there.
So we'll trade Jade Light plus 3-3 three, three token for Carnage Tyrant. And we'll gain 5 life. <sighs> Bugler, why have you been so bad? Your disappointment, Bugler. Alright, if we make Wild Growth Walker a 5 7, then. Yeah, our, our Buglers just keep missing, and our, and our opponent has Midnight Reaper instead, and they're just drawing so many cards with their Midnight Reapers. Alright, so 5 7. They can double block with Walker plus J Light to kill my Walker. See in yourself what I see in you. At least we did not put a contempt down to the bottom, so that's good. We still have we're still looking at finding contempt. The wilds are my shield. Uh, I, I think they're going to shoot Tristani. No, oh, you called it. They did kill Wild Growth Walker. Oh, they just had two troops. There is a peaceful solution. All right, Vivian. Coming in a little late. No one knows the wilds like I do. this back on your feet oh I need a graveyard that don't I yeah I need a graveyard that because I had to draw exactly I had to draw exactly you contempt here to deal with nature. Vivian I think this is our worst matchup. I think the white really helps us beat the aggro decks for Golgari. And you know, I, I've always kind of thought Golgari is good against control. So I think I think we're kind of good against the the rest, but I think our deck's pretty bad in the Golgari mirror. So I think this is our worst matchup, but I, I like where we're at against the other decks. I think we're a whole lot better against aggro than what regular Golgari is. Yeah, that's true. To be fair, Golgari just beats everything, so there's there's not really decks with good Golgari matchups. It's the kind of deck that a lot of people think their matchup is a lot better against Golgari than what it actually is. Yep, they're they're better at Golgaring than we are. Okay. This is a good hand with the Jade Light Rangers. Certainly good. Um with them looking to be a Teferi deck, the Varasis Contempts are certainly better than uh 
Chupacabra would be here. That hurts to put the Ajani in the graveyard. I think the Rainbow Lich deck has a great Golgari matchup. Um, I don't. I don't think Golgari is going to be the big boy around after the next set. Um, the mana is so good. Likely green black, but but I think likely green black with another color. Um, I, I could see. I could certainly see green black with another color, like you know, so something like Jund, um, or even Abzan there, or something else. I, th I think you can play a, a third color pretty easily. Van Turbofog has a has a good Golgari matchup game one. Hmm. We're in a rough spot here, not finding a land off that Jade Light. Where are the lands? Are J-Light still going to die to Deafening Clarion? Against Control, you really want your Explore things just to hit lands. That's that's definitely the, the thing you want against Control decks. That's a that's a fair question, Bushi asked. Does the deck would the deck really need another color? And it's a fair question. Maybe not. Kind of has the stuff you want already. Yeah, Justice Strike instead of Clarion is a good is a good sign for us. They did keep that card on top. I think the metagame will be faster and by quite a bit. I think it will be quite a bit faster um, after the upcoming set. Just kind of in general. I think it's going to be... You know, like adding more cards makes the format better. Like like all the decks better and everything, which makes the, the decks faster. Um... And so, a card like Carnage oh, no. Tyrant, I actually Come don't think will be quickly. as good in the in the next format. Of course, it's still going to be good against control decks and everything, but I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to want to be main decking Carnage Tyrants too much. With, in a faster format. Want me to phase you out of time? Yeah, Rhythm of the Wilds will be an interesting one to see. Rhythm of the Wilds is great against uh, slower decks, but it's it's not that good if if the format is kind of fast and if a lot of people are playing, um, you Hold know, Rhythm of the Wild up. type decks. It's not going to be what you maybe necessarily want because you're like taking a turn off to give your other creatures haste, essentially. It's certainly going to be the best if there's a lot of counter spells, but you know, there's already not a lot of counter spells in standard and there may not be. But in the wilds may act better as a sideboard card. Certainly don't hope they have spell pierce.
I don't have the black mana to contempt to fairy. Um, I only have one black source. So I can't. I can't uh, get rid of to fairy here. Prepare the gallows. Soon you will be left with nothing. So we'll get rid of the treasure map for now. So yeah, I just got more black sources with that settle the wreckage. So next turn we'll be able to contempt to fairy. And uh, if we draw another black source here, we'll be able to have double contempt in case they have a counter spell for the first one. Oh, I, I, yeah, Yager, that's not, I don't believe that statement. Yager's saying, I think the format's going to get stale. Best deck's just going to get better by adding more cards. I mean, there's, I think what the best Hurry. decks are are going to be changing quite a bit. Because the, the decks that are currently the best decks aren't really gaining new things. Um, and there are lots of very good cards in the next set that are going to be seeing play. So, I mean, I think it's going to... I think standard's going to change a lot. Good call. We got the treasure. Good call. So we wouldn't necessarily need another black mana source. We have the treasure. Um... Upkeep. My crew is the finest in the seas. Right, I'm going to upkeep so they don't get to just use their mana on my turn. You know, like they got this five mana, I want them to waste this five mana. Yeah, there is a path of discovery in this deck. That's pretty annoying that they have negate, so they could have a second counter spell here. That's certainly pretty annoying. But at least we're doing this on their their turn where they're gonna have to use this mana. And then they won't have as much mana during during our turn to counter our Vivian. I mean, they'll still have three though, because Teferi. You know I'm not done yet. It's kind of messed up. Don't stop me now. Yeah, opponents ready to to win the, the control matchups here. Really, deck? You just tap all the black mana? <laughs> Alright, so them casting Sinister you Sabotage means that we'll, we that. will be able to have six be able to hit Teferi, so we will be able to kill Teferi here. I'll take what's mine. That was like worst case scenario for us. Stop that. Now! Maybe I should have just waited, let maybe I should have just let them draw a card with Teferi and not done it during their upkeep and just waited until after their untap trigger. Because they, they likely don't just add mana, they they just go past the untap trigger and then cast those. I play Golgari, and this Teferi deck is my absolute bane. Fight them, you maggots! I honestly don't know how to beat it. They counter or settle everything. I think the Teferi tick up should at least, should at the very least, make them reveal the drawn card. <laughs> how do you beat it? Um. Uh, 
You can put Bloodfast in your sideboard. Bloodfast is a real good card here. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass, naming for Teferi, also a great card for the sideboard. Um, but yeah, you you can you can you can put cards in your sideboard like that to beat it. You know, just Duress, Carnage Tyrant, of course, is is very good. Lots of Duresses and Carnage Tyrants. And then, uh, ugh. could have just done that first and gotten Life Link. Hey, we drew a spell. Yeah, so looking back at it, I, I went for the upside of trying to um, get their Teferi on their upkeep. But I think that was wrong where I should have waited till their end step. For Teferi and gone through the untap trigger. I think that was that was the wrong choice there. We didn't see any or no, we saw treasure maps. Yeah, we'll get these things, these Knight of Autumns in there. Um our cards are kinda good. All right, what happens if we do that? That looks pretty good. Profane Procession could be pretty nice. But I'm not going to not going to play it. Oh, you're trying to climb climb ranked ladder best of 1, then yeah, you probably just don't beat it. That's the problem with with best of 1. You can't beat just Hyperlinear control and hyperlinear aggro. You just can't beat those with the same mid range deck in best of one. You just you just can't. You can't beat like Turbo Fog and and Mono Red. Like reliably with the same sixty cards. Because there are just so many cards that you'll put in your deck that are uh that are dead against control to be able to beat mono red or they're dead against mono red to be able to beat control kind of thing yeah i'll follow you into the dark by death cat for cutie yeah that was the last song yep i'll follow you into the dark yeah. That's a good point. Profane Procession is a nonbo with Tristani. Guess I hadn't really thought of that. Hey, Big Papa Jack. Good evening. Go, Branch Walker, go! Oh, the 4th of July. Hmm. So we're at six mana. We need three more before we can double spell. <laughs> That's a lot more. I'm becoming irritated. I'm just basically letting my opponent surveil one. Which is not great. I'm basically excited for the whole set, Santa Dillon. Um, yeah, Ravnica Allegiance is going to be great. And, you know, Standard's going to be completely changed up. And there's, you know, like 20 decks that I already want to 
build, and so real excited for everything. At least they're, they're surveilling their cards on top, so they're drawing gas. Oh, we have more lands. Come on, deck. We're not playing that many lands. We're only playing 24. 24 is not that many lands. Where do you think Hadana, Hadana Stompy can go with the next set? It could be really good. Hadana's climb looks to work really well with a lot of the cards. I keep up the pace. Um, from the newest set. So, yeah, Hadana's climb is certainly a card that that I'm excited about playing. Nine mana. I can't even cast Vivian and Tristani. It's just the worst number of lands to have. Ugh. I think it's likely our opponent has negate. I think that's pretty likely they have negate. Good old auto tap, just tapping all, all every single black source. Let's skip to the good part. I don't I don't have any confidence that I'm gonna like, if I attack them for three and put them down to five, I don't have any confidence that these creatures are going to beat all these cards in their hands at all. So I, I I think it's worth attacking Teferi. Because you had no confidence that those creatures were going to beat their cards in hand. Yeah, that, that branch that branch walker did do fifteen damage. Um, I'm not really sure what my favorite card for the new set is yet, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I was saying earlier, maybe Theater of Horrors. That's a card I'm, I'm excited to play quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, no I don't know what the, my break. favorite card is really yet. So binding means we can't cast another Tristani. It's just a problem. Certainly a big problem.
Yeah, the Spectacle Demon may be the strongest card in the set. That card's real good. Wow. I'm not expecting that to resolve. Wild wasn't meant to be contained. I was not expecting that to resolve at all. <laughs> Get that out of here. Okay. Yeah. We have a chance. It resolved. It's not a great chance, but we have a chance. So much for having a chance. We had one for a little bit there. But mold a six and then hit your nine to land drop. Oh, so it's going to be like that, it's huh? Pretty unlucky game for us here. Squirrels hit harder. And while Tristani's okay, just kind of having hands filled with Tristani's. Not as good. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have enough in my sideboard for control, or like for like this deck. Um, no more games. It's potential we don't. We have half our lands in our deck in play, though. So that's pretty cool. We beat five cards from the opponent, and a Niv Mizzet in play. Maybe a Danto Vanguards. That could be something good for this matchup. But no, the the, prof the profane procession in the sideboard should go because we're playing Tristani, so that should be Bloodfast. So profane procession should be Bloodfast. That's that's a good upgrade there. Um, Bloodfast isn't that bad against even just in the regular Golgari mirror. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of mythics that aren't necessarily so great. Be up one. This is this is why I do for a living here. There's certainly a lot of other good cards that aren't necessarily just the mythics. Um, Kaya is the card that I'm most disappointed about in the whole set. I really wish Kaya was better. And, you know, Kaya was like a three-mana Planeswalker. I was all excited to, like, read it. And then it's just, like, not so much. <laughs> I 
Uh, Duress, you're way too late. That one's good. Path of Discovery is underrated. Wish we had that card instead of one of these 12 lands earlier. Our opponent's not even attacking either. Right? I was really sad about Kaya. Kaya's definitely the, the one I'm the most sad about from the new set. So I didn't make I didn't make the sideboard good enough against control. Um, one, two. We also just didn't draw any of our sideboard cards against control. You know, like we didn't draw any duresses or carnage tyrants, um, which are certainly cards we want there. Release to the wind and crucible of worlds for our rare and mythic. So another two two day. Um, so what I would change here, like, we are really good against aggro. We're probably just too good against aggro. I think our deck is, is amazing against aggro, but I think we, I, I would put in a couple blood fasts. Let's take out this procession. Let's take out the Dawnbringers. We, we just don't need the Dawnbringers. Um, yeah, I have a couple blood fasts in there, and then either... We went to rest number four. Spyglass. I think second Vivian over third cast or second settle over third cast down. I think settle would be I think settle's like our important card for the Golgari type mirrors. Um and then probably just duress number four. So I think I think that's what I'll do. So I think, you know, like we made the sideboard here a little bit ago. We had the donation deck here for the sixty. Made the sideboard. I think I was off a, a few cards on the sideboard. So I think that's I think that's a better sideboard for us. Um, Bloodfast is just such a great card, and getting some of those in there. You do of course have to be like with a card like Bloodfast. You do have to be worried about explosion, killing you there. Um, but yeah. There we go. If you were if you were watching this over on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but that'll be it for Abzan Explorer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.